I guess I could do another segment too. What, what what could it hurt? Because there was, I mean, the other really big thing, which is the fact that Deadpool three has movement. Deadpool three has movement, and it's big movement because Deadpool three has officially found its director, and it's an interesting choice. Not one that I would have thought they'd even go with. Obviously, Sean Levy, the director now of Deadpool three. Him and Ryan Reynolds have chemistry. They've worked on projects before. But it's just not the... You know, I, he's done things I liked. I, I actually really love uh, Real Steel with Hugh Jackman that he did. I, I, I love... Uh, he's a producer on Stranger Things. He produced, you know, uh, quite a few things. And he directed quite a few things. It's just... He's very... Very kind of... In terms of genre and whatnot, he's... He, he's not strictly one, you know, so it's interesting. It's an interesting choice all around. Um, but I think that's great that there's movement and it's official and it's at Marvel Studios. And this is what I mean. This is It's important that Disney allow for these kind of stories to be told under their b- brand. You know, it's just the only way to... You want to expand, you want to purchase you know, Fox and, and every other company and every other studio, and then you have to also be willing to make the movies they would have made themselves because you have all these properties, you have all this IP, and you have a responsibility to that IP to tell it properly, to tell those stories properly. And Deadpool 3 is a perfect example of we'll see. As far as I'm concerned, it's it's going to test everything because it'll it'll tell us if they can handle this kind of, change so Deadpool 3 taps Sean Levy as his director